three things that scare me. One, ghosts and paranormal activity. Why? Fun fact about me, my biological father, who I've never met, was supposedly into voodoo. My mother told me this crazy, I'm not sure how true story, that when I was a young baby, he took me and my mother up to a tree where a squirrel was nailed to it and did some type of ritual. I'm not sure how true that is, but nonetheless, my mother goes on to this day to tell me how many dark spirits she would see around corners or on the bat of her eye. Coming from that, it terrifies me um, if I was to see any type of ghost myself. I have dreams about ghosts and having to escape from them, and I have a deep fear of seeing something that I can't explain. Second thing that terrifies me, which I feel is common, is spiders. Spiders are everywhere, especially in Florida. My Nana owns eight acres of big grassy tree land and it is filled with spiders. When I was young, I went into the bathroom one early morning and a wolf spider, which can be as big as your hand, decided to lay its eggs. And thousands upon thousands of tiny little spiders just enveloped my entire bathroom ceiling. It was terrifying and I probably will never recover. So to this day, I still freak out whenever I feel something crawling on me. If you have more than eight legs, I'm going to scream like a little girl. <laughs> the third thing that scares me is a bit irrational, but it's the fear of freezing to death. I've worked in restaurants for the better half of a decade, and the fruit cooler that would keep everything frozen in usually has a door that locks from the outside. So when you go in, coming out, you have to unlock it to get back out and it will stick. And years ago, I did get locked in for probably only 30 seconds, but it was long enough that it terrified me. So any instance where I feel that I'm going to get hypothermia and shiver to death essentially <laughs> scares me. If I was to become fearless of any of these, attributes, I would have to hope that I would one day become acc accustomed to liking spiders. I'm not going to be one of those crazy people who holds a tarantula in their hand or lets them crawl over their face, but I would like to hopefully allow them to live in my vicinity. Spiders have a lot of good attributes and they do good things. They keep other bugs that are pests. I have dogs out of your household, um, but to this day, I'd rather them just die. Thank you.